fourscore and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not reading from a teleprompter. But you know, I could be. Hey, I'm Tom Remington. Welcome to an episode of Open Air with Tom Remington, where I discuss whatever's on my mind. And uh, lots of times there's nothing on my mind. And so I don't talk about it, and other times there is. And I come on here and try to express some of that. And uh, for those of you who might follow me on my blog, this morning I put up a a uh, blog on there with a video of uh, President Obama uh, delivering a speech before a sixth grade class in Virginia while using a teleprompter. And, you know, I guess I, I tried to look at it from the perspective of <laughs> how, would I, how would I view this if this speech was being done the same way with a teleprompter, um, you know, and everything with a president that I liked. And, uh, well, I'm not sure that I could, you know, answer that completely honestly because I'm not so naive to think that, um, you know, the way I feel about the current president, you know, doesn't influence a lot of what I think. However, being that I'm the... Uh, <laughs> uh, partisan fella that I am. No, actually, um, I got thinking about this a little bit more, and I thought, you know, you know, I, you know, what what can you say? See, what you saw at the beginning of the thing, you know, because it's a different setting, obviously. But if you watch the video of Obama, he's in a sixth grade classroom, and behind him are these like pictures hanging up of. You know, kids that have drawn things with uh, crayons and stuff like that. Now, now this is no slam against the kids. This is a sixth grade class. But he's brought in his podium with the seal of the president on it. And he's got this thing propped up onto a stage with his teleprompters up here like he was addressing the halls of Congress. And the kids are down here sitting in benches. All right? And he's trying to be, what, cool? Oh, I'm here today, you know. Uh, uh, uh. You know, it's like, I don't get it. You know, now, obviously, you know, it isn't a qualification for somebody to be anything. Um, depending upon whether or not they can stand in front of people and speak. Um, however, one would think that to have gotten this far in politics, to become President of the United States, that you could say what you had to say, and I don't know how many words was in his speech. I don't expect him to memorize it. He's a busy man. He's got golf to play, you know. But what are the points that he had to make? And you mean to tell me that he can't, you know, have these thoughts in his head and get up in front of a class of sixth graders and be relaxed enough to be able to speak and express those thoughts? My goodness, I'm, I'm sitting here in front of my video camera just speaking to millions and millions of people around the world. And I don't use a script. I have thoughts in my head and, you know, that sort of thing. But I've listened to the president when he goes to deliver whatever he wants to say. And it's, um, 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 let me make my, um, self, um, clear. And, you know, but he's, he's got to get over this. You know, I hear constantly, oh, about what an extremely brilliant man he is. And maybe he is, although personally I think he might be hiding it, at least for me, you know. And, I mean, he graduated from some of the finest universities this country has to offer. 
and he chooses a setting of a sixth grade class in Virginia to cheat, to cheat on his work. You know, don't you recall the day? I do. I recall the days I had to get up in front of class and give an oral report. God, I hated it. Scared to death. I, I can't explain why. I just was. I'm not nearly as bad as I used to be. You know, I've spoken in front of fairly large groups before. And I do this, which is this is different. I, I don't really have an audience. just me and a few bugs flying around in here. But, you know, the whole setting was just so queer. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing as a citizen to say, yeah, that was my president delivering that education speech to the sixth grade class, right? And little Johnny's going to go home tonight and say, hey, Mom, I'm supposed to do an oral report. Do you think I can take in my teleprompter? Or maybe I'll take my iPod or whatever else, you know, and I'll put my speech out and I'll just read it off my iPod, you know. Or at least, I mean, when I, I don't know what kids do today. When I had to do this in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, um, we couldn't use notes. We had to either memorize what we were going to say, which obviously isn't a, you know, the Gettysburg Address, which wasn't that long, actually. And, uh, uh, you know, that sort of thing. It, you know, it was, it was short stuff, but my golly sakes alive. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything, you know, and uh, I just don't think teleprompters in a classroom with sixth graders talking about education is too cool. I really don't. It's, uh, oh, well, you know, what can I say? Um, you know, I, I like I said, the, the guy... <sighs> It, you know, it it doesn't really mean a lot. Uh, you know, I'm sure he's a, a bright enough man. I mean, he had to, he, he got this far in life. Um, I just don't understand the necessity of of doing this. It's it's just very embarrassing and awkward. And and how do you take a person serious who has to stand in front of a sixth grade grade class with teleprompters? Oh my. You know, anyway, um, you know, that's probably small potatoes with everything else that's going on in the world. Um, I'm just not sure, you know, is that why? Nah, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it there and just leave it at that. And, and I hope somebody, uh, you know, sits down with a guy and gives him some speech lessons or something and, and teaches him how to, you know, go about, Delivering a you know an 800 word speech without using teleprompters leaves the arms and out of it and and just say what's on your mind. You know people understand. You don't have to use big words and fancy speech and everything to get your point across. Just tell the people what's on your mind. That's what we want to hear, right? I tell you what's on my mind, maybe not what you want to hear, but I tell you what's on my mind, and I don't have to, you know, plan these things out and write these big fancy speeches and try to impress somebody. It's like, I got thoughts, I'll share them, and hey, what do you think? Huh? So what do you think? Go out and have yourself a nice day. I hope you join me next time on Open Air with Tom Remington.